This is Mary for Creation TV, and I'm with Robbie Duncan McNeil, who played Tom Paris on Voyager. Now, um, when did you realize that directing was your calling? Well, I had done a series before uh, Star Trek called Going to Extremes mm -hmm. down in the Caribbean. And uh, um, I started observing directors down there because mm -hmm. we were on this island in Jamaica shooting this show. And there really wasn't anything else to do. Right. You know, it wasn't like where I lived. So I started looking at the directors, seeing what they did. And it was really interesting how mm -hmm. all the pieces came together. So uh, it started there. And then as soon as we did the pilot for Voyager, I, I told Rick Berman that that was something I wanted to learn about. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Star Trek had a history of Leonard Nimoy directing, right. William Shatner directing, uh, Jonathan Frakes, you mm -hmm. name it, LeVar Burton. Yeah. They had this history, so it was almost like going to film school. It was great. Mm -hmm. I got to I got to sit in with editors, learn about that, talk mm -hmm. to the cameramen about that, sit with writers. It was great. Do you think um, having been an actor gives you an edge in terms of directing? Um, I think in some ways it does. Mm -hmm. I think that, that um, you know, the thing with directing, the thing with any of this is Writers will write great stories. Mm -hmm. They'll imagine what it looks like, right. all of that. But once the, the critical moment is when you hit the floor and the actors have to say the words and you have to set up a shot and it either works or doesn't. And mm -hmm. it's in that moment where all those things come together. Right. And that's why directing is, is so challenging and, and so rewarding for me is sometimes the writers will imagine what they want mm -hmm. and then it gets out there and it's not quite right. And so right. being an actor... Being able to talk, speak the language of acting mm -hmm. with actors, I think, helps us try to put those things mm -hmm. together, you know, and using yeah. the right kind of words and vocabulary to, to get actors to to the place that you imagined right. the scene right. was going to be. So you've directed some episodes for Enterprise too. Did mm -hmm. it feel like going back home, working with that crew, or was it a totally different vibe on set with that cast? Right. It was definitely a, a different mm -hmm. vibe on set. Mm -hmm. um, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And and I don't mean one was better or worse. Right. It was just a very different vibe. Um, so it was weird mm -hmm. in a way. There was a part of it that felt, um, when I directed on Enterprise, it felt very comforting to mm -hmm. be back with a lot of familiar faces. And it also was very odd because, mm -hmm. you know, I yeah. expected to turn and see Bob Picardo right. or, or <laughs> Kate Mulgrew or yeah. Garrett or Roxanne or someone. And, um, and it was a different cast mm -hmm. and different kinds of stories. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. uh, but I really enjoyed yeah. that show. I enjoyed I, all of it. Yeah. I thought your character, Tom Paris, was so cool because he liked muscle cars and right. he was kind of this rebel. Did you enjoy playing somebody who was a little more grounded on a sci-fi show? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the truth is, honestly for me, I've never been uh, a fan. Not a, this is, It won't sound right, but I was never hardcore. Uh, a hardcore fan mm -hmm. of science fiction shows. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't the kind of stuff that I... Imagine yourself doing. Yeah, I mean, not even that. Mm -hmm. It just was, I, I don't know. It was mm -hmm. not not on my radar mm -hmm. so much, and I didn't track it as much as I do now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I came on to Star Trek, like, the way that I could relate, if, if I was down there driving and talking technobabble about mm -hmm. something, I would always try to relate it in my mind to something that I could understand, whether right. it was... And I, and I told the writers very early on, like when I talked about the ship, mm -hmm. my grandfather was a mechanic, and so I would think about what it was with a car mm -hmm. that I could relate to because I didn't understand right. it any other way. Right. And I think they took some of those cues and kind of went, oh, well, maybe he was a mechanic, like uh -huh. to be a mechanic. And, you yeah. know, it's yeah. funny how little conversations with writers or producers will turn into. Finds its way into the yeah, exactly. Or exactly. Cool. Did you enjoy uh, shooting the Captain Proton scenes with Garrett? Yes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that very must have much. been nice to get off was, the bridge and do something. It was great different. because there was so, such irony with that. You mm -hmm. know, we were, we're doing this this uh, holodeck that that stood on its own, and those mm -hmm. stories stood on their own, but yet we were able to kind of make fun of the genre, make fun right. of ourselves, make fun, you know, mm -hmm. have fun with with the show. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So you're going to be on a reunion panel with everybody. How good is it to be back to see everyone? Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. nice. You know, we, um, the boys from our show, mm -hmm. we've gotten together ever since the show went off the air. We've gotten together for what we call our steak dinners, oh, which cool. happens every, every few months, three mm -hmm. or four months. And uh, it's not always everybody, mm -hmm. you know. Usually it's like three or four, you know, two or three of us. But yeah. we, we get together, and uh, so at least on the with the boys, uh, we've seen each other. Right. And uh, I get to work with... Um, Didn't you work with Tim Russ? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I directed the pilot of Samantha Who. Mm -hmm. And um, so I brought Tim Russ over on that, and mm -hmm. he's still there, which is great. Yeah. He's got a regular gig. 
and um, we have a lot of Star Trek people on Chuck, the show I produce mm -hmm. now. Uh, we have Dan Courier, visual effects supervisor, mm -hmm. who did Star Trek for many years. Um, uh, ben Betts, the video guy that did mm -hmm. all the all the monitors on the Enterprise uh -huh. and Voyager and all that. Uh, ben Betts is on, Dave Trotty, AD. We have a lot of Star Trek people, so. Cool, cool. I hear you're a huge football fan. Yes. Who's your team? <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple teams. I'm a college football fan, okay. so Georgia Bulldogs are my home team. That's where I'm from. Awesome. So we're hoping this year they got a good shot at the national championship. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, and then back at, at home where I live with my family mm -hmm. now, UCLA is uh -huh. our team. Cool. We picked the underdog. Yeah. So. Hi, I'm Robert Duncan McNeil, and you're watching Creation TV. <laughs>